Hey guys, so today we're checking out the Barricade Extreme HD Grill Guard in black, fitting all 2007 to 2021 Toyota Tundras. Now, if you're looking for an easy way to upgrade the front end protection on your Tundra, this choice may just be a great option for you. Now, this will be a good choice for the truck owner who's looking for some solid grill and bumper protection if you're taking your truck off road or even on the work site. Not only that, but if you're a fan of the grill guard look, then this is going to be right up your alley. Now, taking a closer look at the design, you'll see here that this is going to have twin vertical supports, which will offer a substantial amount of front end protection on its own. Now, this will also have a crossbar down below for some extra support and protection to the bumper, headlight guards with some reinforcement here down at the bottom, and it's also going to have a center punch plate for top tier grill protection from any smaller kick up. This will also be made of a heavy duty steel construction, making sure that this will be able to take a hit, and it's also covered in a nice black gloss black powder coat finish, making sure that it's able to take a hit, and it's also covered in a gloss black powder coat finish that will offer a sleeker look in comparison to some stainless or chrome options. Now, I would like to mention that if your truck is equipped with either adaptive cruise control or forward collision warnings, this may interfere with those, so I would just keep that in mind if you're taking a look at this grill guard. Now, when it comes to pricing, this will come in at roughly $1,400, which is a pretty average price point for a heavy-duty grill guard. Now, I do like the fact that this choice will not only offer a center punch plate, but it will be removable, so you can customize this to your own personal preference. Now, this will also be very solid with multiple support bars, which will uh, just up the strength of the grill guard, but also add a very sporty look compared to some other bare bone options. Now, overall, if you're looking for a solid choice for front end protection and an off-road look, then this is going to be right up your alley. As for install, this is going to be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you about an hour to get the job done with some basic hand tools. I would recommend having an extra hand ready to help you uh, lift this as well as a breaker bar, a couple of ratchets, a 19, 17, 13, and 10 millimeter socket, and a 13 millimeter wrench. Now, one of our customers here has installed this on their Tundra and is going to walk you what that process looks like step by step. Let's go ahead and get into the install. So everything I used for the install, since I was doing everything by myself, I used two six by six wood blocks to help support it. And then I used a breaker bar with a 17 millimeter socket, half inch drive. And then I used a 3 8 17 millimeter socket and again, three eighths with a 19 millimeter socket and a quarter inch with a number 10 millimeter socket. And also came the 13 millimeter I had to use along with a 13 millimeter wrench and a 14 millimeter wrench, a flashlight and the Allen key that was supplied. We're gonna disconnect and remove the the lower front tow hooks um, they're not to be reused so we're going to take them off so i have a number 17 millimeter breaker bar because i'm expecting them to be pretty tight and they're not too bad i'm going to use a number regular ratchet same size, 17 mil.
Okay, I'm just gonna set the hardware here at the moment. And I'm gonna relocate these tow brackets. We're gonna put some blocks underneath the front part of the motor underneath there where I can put the roll bar, the bull bar, excuse me, onto the blocks so I can get, get the bottom uh, base mounts to the chassis. couple six by six blocks. Since I'm by myself, I gotta do it this way. And hopefully this will work behind us. And I'm getting two four by four wood blocks. I'm gonna rest out on the on this tube right here. So I get these brackets up underneath. Well, I had to take the four by four blocks out. They were too high. So I got two six by six blocks on either side. Actually, I'm gonna leave them right there. So I rolled forward a little bit with the bottom brackets because I left them loose. I didn't make them tight. So I'm gonna slide it down there. I'm gonna move the camera to the lower position. Okay, I'm on the passenger side right now. I got the, the camera in position. You can see these brackets are not tight. So, well, I was saying earlier, I don't have these tight yet. These two bolts that mount right here are not secure. So they're just loose in there. So I'm gonna move the bolt bar in a little bit more, a little closer, and see if we can get this in here set up. All right, those blocks, the four by, or excuse me, the two six by six blocks, they're really darn close. You can make it pretty easy getting these started. So I'm going to just go ahead Put that one in. So again, this is on the passenger side. So. There we go. Maybe they got, looks like they both, these things got some uh, little, they're oval holes, they're not exactly round, so they give you a little bit of room to, to shift it if needed. So now I'm gonna pause the camera, get everything set up on the other side. Okay. When you work by yourself a lot, you learn to improvise. I'm reusing the same bolts that mounted my tow hooks on the front, so. There we go. I'm pushing up on the front of the bull bar now. Just kind of get this pre-set up. All right. I'm gonna get you set up on the taller tripod. Okay, none of that's tight yet. So I'm gonna remove these blocks. Uh, these brackets that I previously installed, just a temporary, and not to the bumper. So on the driver's side, um, I'm gonna have to uh, undo this that I did a pre-assemble, which is fine. You get an idea of how the brackets are meant to go, so. Now, this bracket here needs to mount on this groove right here. As you may be able to see, my finger's poking through it. Anyway, and it goes through here. Part of my front plastic bumper. And this will mount back behind here. So I'm going to loosen up this front center piece and work from the bottom. And I will transfer the the camera to the shorter uh, tripod. So 
Uh, where I'm at now is on the driver's side, forward, the furthest forward of the three bolts for the bumper itself. Um, there's a total of four, but three are one side here. And then there's one on the other side over here, it's out of view. Um, I'm gonna loosen up these top two of those three uh, to install the bracket for the bumper. It's gonna be this bracket here. So I'm loosening it up and you'll get the idea when I get it in there. Using a 14 millimeter gear wrench, that's what I can get up in here. The top one I'm gonna take off and the bottom one I'm gonna loosen up. Due to its positioning and location, I'm gonna have to do a cheater bar with two wrenches. And I can demonstrate that when I get it out of here in this position. So, you might even be able to see it there. Bring it, it's tight. Loosen up. It is a little bit of a tight quarter. <laughs> I was going to try to take the plastic shroud off the front of the bumper that's in the middle, but it's not very easy to. To, to take off it looks like. did it on the bumper behind this plastic piece on the driver's side on the left side so I don't want to cut this slot out in the plastic right here so what I'm going to do here is if you take the bracket and you hold it like so you can it's like playing Jingus and you can get it in there give a little bit of a twist rotate it and I'm in 
So now I just gotta do that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these two bolts that hold this bracket, these two right here, they mount this bracket to the bracket that we just mounted to the bumper. Um, if that's clear, um, I will see if I can get the camera just a little bit closer here to show that. All right, I got the camera remounted to get on another tripod. So I'm gonna take a flashlight and put a flashlight behind here so you can see the back lighting is as to what I've got going on. Okay, so I got my bracket in there. So I'm gonna get these two bolts that hold it in there. So uh, let's see, we get get them up in there. Um, and let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Right, I'm gonna lay down. I can get my hands up here to the bottom side. Go back to these two bolts, these two nuts of the three that this bracket here mounts to on the bumper. So I'm going to tighten those up. in position. All right, we're on the passenger side now. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna separate these two that I had temporarily installed previously at the very beginning. Would be nice to leave them connected. It started anyway. But I'm gonna set this bracket and the two bolts aside. And this bracket here is gonna go and mount to the bumper up behind this panel, just like last time. So, I'm gonna relocate the camera up underneath there. All right, I'm on the passenger side, right side of the vehicle, front bumper mount. You're laying at the car facing forward. So I'm gonna put a little lighting under here so you can kind of hopefully, hopefully help out. seeing what I'm trying to do try not to blind you all right so you see here's the bottom of the third nut there's a middle one right here and then there's a top one right up there so we're gonna break those loose again those are 14 I'm gonna do the top one and the middle one so I'm gonna take those off. I'm gonna do some American ingenuity here. If I can, I might not be able to lay it with my hand. the middle one I'm doing first. So, take it completely off. Okay. 
All right, that's the middle nut. I'm gonna do another one, top one of those three. Now, right there, I'm gonna take this bracket. We're gonna get this thing out of the right up in here. This goes in like so, okay. Okay. It's pretty self exclamatory on the install. Just takes a little bit of time, patience. Put my nuts back on so we can get this thing secured here. All right. Uh, I'm getting the middle nut back on now. Middle one there. Ouch. Yeah, I'm gonna bring these up just lightly snug. They're not gonna be super tight. Not until the very end. And I'll come around and tighten everything and secure everything. I'm doing the top one now of the three. Okay. All right. Good enough for now. All right. I'm going to stop and pause and move the phony. So, do that. Give it a twist. There you go. Now it's in position right there. Kind of right there. So I need to move this over a little bit. There we go. Stuck over a little bit. There you go. A little more room. Now I'm gonna take these two bolts that I was working with earlier and we get them started back up in there again. position secured so now we're gonna put these brackets here on a little movement there we're gonna get those position and then we'll tighten up everything else in the bottom so I'm gonna set this camera up further back all right camera camera's been relocated what I'm gonna do now is take and remove the rest of the packaging that I have on here for this keep it protected the truck when I did the install so we're gonna remove the rest of it has been removed so we're going to mount the remaining hardware on this corner right here then as we go back we just tighten everything up took the washer it's got it's shaped it's got a u shape in it goes towards the handle here so um we're just going to go ahead and just just like so, so this detent goes in here. I'll see. 
right here. You kind of see how that's shaped. So we'll do that. I'm gonna do a washer. So you can move the grill forward and aft. So you can uh, see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. We'll do the other side. Okay. I'm on the passenger side, the right side now. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tighten up, secure this 17 millimeter nut. that's in position there now all right well the next step is to uh, go back and uh, secure everything in position all right got camera position again so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mount secure tighten these two bolts that fasten on the side this sidearm right here to the bracket that goes that we mounted to the old tie down positions Finger arms allows you to move the grill in or out a little closer if you so desire. So,
Now I got adaptive radar cruise control and that sensor is behind my logo. So I'm going to uh, position that, remove that center part of the grill because of that sensor. The toolkit came with the Allen key for that purpose. There. So I got the food control to work through that. My understanding is five degrees vertical and 20 degrees horizontal for that radar to work. That's going to wrap it up for my review and the install of the Barricade Extreme HD Grill Guard in black, fitting all 2007 to 2021 Toyota Tundras. For more videos and products just like this, remember to always keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.